So people are waiting to see what's going to happen. They don't want to let the truck go with all the milk to be put in the dump. Yeah. I didn't sign off. I he showed me everything that they took, and I said I don't care because I said I, I want to see everything that goes off this farm. I want to see it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I had seen it, and he showed me, and then he said, okay. "No, that's we're that's taking it." And I was like, "Okay." And like I didn't know what the deal was on the other yeah. end, but no, you can't. I mean, and I didn't think it was a big deal. No, oh yeah, it's, it's a big deal. Nowhere. It's a principle. It's a principle. Yeah, but that's true. Oh, I think that actually people yeah, have a right. And it's, people are so fed up that they cannot make a proper decision about what they eat. I mean, I, I have no objection against pasteurization or that in, when you have it in the store that, you know, that it has to be pasteurized and controlled. But when people have a share in the farm, they, have a, they definitely have a right to have their own food without interference of government, bottom line. Well, it was, for the moment, I think uh, a lot of people expected to be arrested. That, that was clear, and I think everybody was prepared to be arrested. Um, but when, when finally, you know, they, they kind of ch changed their tactic and said, well, we leave everything here, can we leave then? It was a relief. It was a relief for them. It wasn't, it, it didn't matter to us, but it was a relief for them. I felt relief for them because, you know, they were in an awkward situation here and I didn't realize how many people they would encounter defending this farm. And I think it caught them by surprise. They always see me as the figurehead of the whole situation, but people have taken control over this farm. And we, we in service to these people and try to run this farm as good as possible. That's all we do. Do you expect this to end here, though? Do you expect them back again? What, what well, I have no expectations, let's put it this way. The only thing I'm hoping is that this will send a clear message that people will not back down. I think that's bottom line. Is there anything more you plan to do? I mean, to prevent... No, I don't know. I just want to milk my cows. That's that, really, that's all I want to do. I want to produce good food and healthy food and, and you know, that have these families here who enjoy the food and are really happy that they can come to the farm. 
that's all I want to do. I don't, I, I don't want to fight. Mm -hmm. But when there's injustice, you bet I'm fighting. You got some answers today. You learned where the cameras? The cameras came from the MNR. The chief investigator who did the search warrant admitted that these were his cameras. So he now trying to negotiate a deal how they get the cameras back. You're willing to give up those cameras, I guess, now? Or yeah, because I always, I always said, well, as long as I know what this whole thing was for, mm -hmm. no problem. Okay. They did get out of here with some stuff, though. So. Well, that was unfortunate that they got out here. That was before the people, you know, kind of organized themselves to block the laneway. Mm -hmm. So some stuff got out, but they'll bring it back. Yeah, computers and yeah. some food. I yeah. yeah. But they did get enough to for the samples they could probably need for their purposes. The, right? the only purpose they, they need for is to test it if it's for cows. I mean, from we could have told uh, uh, from cows, and we could have told them that. I mean, it's it's really not a big deal. Heard uh, illegal operation of a plant. Oh yeah, that's all. They, they always try to push us into that framework of of these regulations, but we are not. We are not in that framework. It's a, it's a completely private contract operation here, and the people own it, and that's it. Do you see that that's some sort of red herring when they say they're just inspecting to see if you're operating a plant without a license? That's what they're saying. It's a complete red. It's a complete red herring because once we under under that jurisdiction, you know, then they can then they can actually um, enforce the milk act. If you're not under their jurisdiction and not licensed, then you know it's they can't go in the kitchen and take you, take, uh, basically force you to comply with the uh, with the milk act. I mean, otherwise every milk every kitchen would be a plant. So it, but it is more. I think this fundamental right. You can have all these regulations, but there's a fundamental right here, and that people can make a choice. Okay, without interfering of government. And your supporters certainly showed that. And they were extremely committed uh, to that cause. And I mean, it's their food. Are you going to change? Is, is anything going to change about the way you do things, or because of this today, or? What? Well, it depends. It really depends on the government. I mean, if if we can sit down with the government, you know, in a constructive way, mm -hmm. sit down with them, and say, well, how how can we do that? You know, that there is a form to it which then does not endanger these farmers or that the farmers have to be constantly afraid of having a raid of all these agencies. I mean, there, there is a limit. There's, we have property rights, we have freedoms, and we want to see them protected.